Hi friends, welcome back to arts class. For today's art lesson, you are going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, a black marker, and coloring supplies. I'm going to use markers, but you could use crayons, markers, or colored pencils. Now this Wednesday, November 11th, is Veterans Day. Veterans Day is a day that we celebrate those who have served in the armed forces. That could be somebody who's served in the army, in the navy, or any other branch of the military. To celebrate Veterans Day in art class today, we are going to draw an American flag waving in the wind. We are going to try to make our American flag look three-dimensional. That means it's not going to look flat on our paper, but it's going to look like it's coming out and waving in the wind. The very first thing that you need to do is grab your paper and turn it the long way side to side like this. Next, you can grab your pencil. We're gonna start on the left side of our paper and we are going to draw a line that starts at the top and comes all the way down to the bottom, filling up almost your whole paper. The next thing I'm gonna do is put my pencil at the bottom of my line right here, and I need to draw a curvy line. First, I'm going to go up and around and back down like this. If I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video at any time so that you can catch up. The next thing I'm going to do is put my pencil right where I left off. I'm going to draw a small curvy line that curves back up, and then I'm going to repeat this same curvy line again. I'm going to go up and around and down. I'm going to leave my pencil right here, and I'm going to go curvy line down again, and then I'm going to curve up and end right there. This is the bottom of my flag. The next thing that I'm going to do is put my pencil up at the top. I'm going to draw this same curve up at the top. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to come up and over, but then I'm going to stop right there. Instead of drawing my curvy line going up and around like I did at the bottom, I'm going to now put my pencil right here and draw a straight line down so that it touches this part of my curvy line at the bottom. The next thing that I'm going to do is put my pencil on this line a little bit down from the top. I'm going to try to draw this same curvy line again up at the top here. I'm going to put my pencil down here. I'm going to go up and around. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to put my pencil back on that line and come straight down to the bottom, connecting to the bottom of my flag. Next thing I'm going to do is put my pencil right here a little bit below the top of my flag. I'm going to draw a curvy line that goes up and I'm going to draw it coming straight down to connect to the ends. The last step of our flag waving in the wind is we're going to look at the bottom down here where these two curves go in like this. I'm going to put my pencil on the very bottom and I'm going to draw a line that goes from this curve straight up and from this curve straight up. This shows me the back of the flag that's waving in the wind and it makes it look three-dimensional instead of 2D or flat on my paper. That's it for the outside of our flag and now we have to add the details to the inside of the American flag. First thing I'm going to do is look at this section on the left right here. I'm going to start my pencil in the middle and draw a straight line over like this. The top part right here is the blue part of my American flag that has the stars. The next thing I need to draw are the stripes down below the blue part. So I'm going to focus on this part right here and I'm going to draw a few stripes like this. Now the real American flag has 13 stripes and those stripes represent the original 13 colonies of America. You might not have room to do the 13 stripes, so just fit as many as you can, but just know that on the real American flag, there are 13 stripes. The next thing I need to do is add stripes to the middle section. I'm going to make sure that my stripes follow the same curve as the top of my flag. I'm gonna draw stripes all the way down, like this. 
The last thing I need to do is add stripes to this section, and I'm going to make sure that my stripes follow the same curve as the top of my flag right here. Awesome job, friends. The last thing we need to draw are the stars up in the top of our flag. Now there are 50 stars up in this part of the flag that represent the 50 states in the United States of America. Now if you want to draw 50 stars, that is totally fine. If you don't have room to draw 50, you can draw as many as you can up in the top. As many that will fit. Awesome. We are all done with our pencils and now we're going to move on to our black marker. We need to go ahead and trace everything that we drew in a pencil with a black marker. We trace our pencil lines in a black marker so that they stand out and so that they're nice and bold. The other reason that we trace in a black marker is so that we can still see those lines after we add color. Sometimes when we add color, it takes away the pencil lines that we can see, so that is why we're tracing them so that even after we add color, we will be able to see them. Don't forget to trace all those stripes. I know it seems like a lot. After you are all done tracing your stripes, you're going to move on to your stars. Now you can just trace the outside of your stars. There's the inside part that we get when we draw them, but you only have to go around the outside of them like this, and then you can erase the inside when you're done. If you drew 50 stars, this is going to be a lot of outlining, so maybe stick to as many stars as you can fit. After you're all done tracing in a black marker, the last step is going to be to add color. The American flag is red, white, and blue. The top left of the flag, where there are stars, is blue in the background, and the stars are white. So you're going to take your blue coloring supply and color in blue in this part. After you color that whole background in blue, the stripes of our flag are red and white. Make sure that you go back and forth so one stripe will be red and then the next one will be white. One will be red and then the next one white. When you are all done coloring in that awesome waving flag, I would love if you could take a picture and upload it to Seesaw so that I can see. Last but not least, when you're totally done with your flag, if you know somebody who has served in the armed forces, you can give this to them as a way to say thank you on Veterans Day. Have a great week, friends, and I will see you next time. I can't wait to see those awesome flags.